It's exactly two weeks after the presidential election, which has produced the winner and runners-up. But the, that appears not to sit well with the Labour Party, which has since approached the court seeking to inspect the election materials used by INIC in conducting the election. With that in mind, the party is alleging that the Independent National Electoral Commission has failed to obey the court or the order of the appeal court in Abuja, directing it to grant the Labour Party and its presidential candidate it will be leave to apply and receive from INEC certified true copies of materials used in the presidential election held on 25, uh, 25th of February. The chief spokesman of the Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council, Yunus Otanko, claimed that the action of INEC on that reference also constitutes an act of judicial insubordination and willful refusal to comply to the order of the court. Very democratic society. Once an order is being given by a competent jurisdiction of court, it is expected that until that particular order has been respected before, and before they could even listen to INEC. So in other countries, they wouldn't have even listened to INEC at all in the first place. They would have, first of all, ensured that they carry out the first order given to them before they make another request for another order. That is actually what is supposed to have been obtainable. But unfortunately, in our position, while an order was given and flagrantly disabused and refused to be adhered to, the court still gave them another grant of order on their own request.